good morning everyone so we're currently in traffic but um we're on our way down to the western shore of maryland do some coastal plains herping meeting up with my buddy rusty down there for a little bit from uh herping southern maryland you've probably seen his channel um he's always finding good stuff down that way and he even finds good stuff when he links up with us up in the mountains of the piedmont so he's a lucky guy um yeah, it's chilly out today. I don't think it's uh, broke 60 degrees yet, but around noon when we get down there, it's supposed to be in the low 60s, and that should prove to be good herping weather, um, at least for flipping. So we're going to get down there. We're going to uh, <clears throat> flip some tin. And then we got a lot of, there's a lot of tin to flip down there, so that's going to take a minute. And we're going to, you know, be hiking, you know, on our way to there, see, you know, if we can find some stuff out basking. It's usually a great spot for box turtles, too. So, I, you know, it's not uncommon to see a few of those. And with this cooler weather, I don't want to jinx us, but there may be a hog nose out uh, on the crawl. Again, probably won't find one, but if we were this would be the right weather to see one but uh after that we're gonna go to a spot um and just do a little bit of hiking see if we can see some stuff you know out and about but yeah it should be a good day and um i will get back to you once we get down there and start finding stuff all right so we've been out here for maybe about 10 minutes flipping around and um rusty here flipped this piece and found a nice smooth earth snake now this other than one I found down in South Carolina earlier is my first coastal smooth earth of the year the other two that I found believe it or not were mountain smooth earth snakes which are just a they're the same species it's just one's a subspecies that's awesome pretty cool Pooped all over me. <laughs> he sure did. Oh my gosh. He must have ate it like a Chinese buffet before I picked him up. Look at all that. <laughs> all right, so we didn't have much luck flipping tin today. Sometimes that's just how it goes. So we're hiking up this one habitat right here and right off the trail. Heard this little worm snake crawling through the leaves. Never really found one out on the crawl before. It was just always... Flip them, flipping them undercover. But this one's cute. Let him back on his way and go back down in the leaves. Awesome. All right, so we found a racer that got away from us not long after we found that worm snake and then found this little guy crossing over. Pretty sure this is an American toad. It could be a Fowler's toad. I'm not really good at identifying them we're on the western shore so i think that's american toad territory but if somebody wants to correct me please do or let him go on his way get off the trail go cool so rusty flipped this tarp right here right off the trail yes, sir. found a cute little decays brown snake we were just crushing it with the small snakes today Found an earth snake, a worm snake, and now it decays. It's pretty cool. All right, guys. So we didn't have the most productive uh, herping day down on uh, the western shore. That was two days ago. Today's Sunday. But uh, we still found some stuff, but not enough to really put a video together. So I got some time today. So we're going to hit some local spots. Weather's pretty nice right now. It's in the 70s. There's overcast. So we're going to see what we can find. And then, yeah, that'll be that. So I'll let you know when I find something. All right, so this was pretty cool. Flipped the first two pieces, didn't find anything. And then this piece of particle board that I put out, I think back in the early summer, I haven't found anything under it yet and almost didn't see anything. And then this little guy. Cute little decays brown snake. I found them here before. They're not my most common find at this spot, but still pretty cool. 
It's a good looking one, probably. I'm gonna say sub adult. They don't get that big. But never complain about a brown snake. Beautiful. It's nice to know this piece is finally producing. Alright, get back under there. Nice. So this is awesome and actually one of the things I was hoping to find today. I just stopped over at this one spot um, not long after I found that decays brown snake spot near my house. And this spot is right over the line in Pennsylvania, about like two minutes over the line. And uh, found a baby racer right in this area last year and then flipped a rock, another baby northern racer. I absolutely love finding these guys. They're one of my favorite babies to find because they act so much like the adults. They're feisty right from the get-go. Um, a lot of people get confused when they find these at babies because similar to eastern rat snakes, they're not born with that black color. They have uh, this checkered pattern. And as this one gets older, it will lose that checkered pattern with each shed. And it will become that solid black color, almost indigo color. I love finding these guys as adults too, but what a beautiful snake. Very lucky to find this. Awesome. So this is an awesome treat, not a reptile or amphibian, but again, beautiful praying mantis. And the cool thing about this, this is our actual native species. This is a Carolina mantis. You can tell because the wings don't go all the way down um, to the end of the body. And I think technically you can tell by like the square shape between the eyes. Again, I'm not 100% on that, but that's really cool that this is a praying mantis. And one of the cooler things is they are one of the main predators of lantern flies, which are extremely invasive. So, pretty cool. All right, so I just got over to my friend Bill's house and uh, usually flip around his yards. A lot of times he sees hog noses here. I found two of them here in the past two years and I just found a decomposed baby hog nose and um, just flipped this little piece of wood right here and found another baby racer. This one is adorable. Awesome. You guys know how much I love baby racers. Let's, let's see. Today's Tuesday. I found that one on Sunday. And then this one. Nice. Well, it's funny. I've never found an adult racer in his house. I know they're here, but still pretty cool. All right, so a few seconds after that racer flipped this shingle, cute little ringneck. Ringnecks are probably most common find at this house. So it's pretty cool. <clears throat> Good looking one. Not the brightest belly, but went to the bathroom all over me. Typical ringneck fashion. Good morning, guys. Um, it is Friday, October 7th. I haven't been out in well over a week because it's just now finally normal weather out. We got the fallout from Hurricane Ian up here in the Mid-Atlantic. And uh, it got really cold and rainy for several days. And yesterday was the first day it started to warm up, but I wasn't able to make it out, so... We're going to herp around, see what's out, and I'll let you know when we find something. Pretty cool first snake of the day and first snake of October for me. Flip this rock right here. We're on this hillside in the upper Piedmont of Maryland. And a uh, nice little garter snake. Feisty, but how a lot of them are still a nice find it's good that stuff's out so I'll let you go cool 
So I haven't found anything um, since that garter snake, and that was like 45 minutes ago. And I started hiking up this power cut here, and I found this board. And you can see I found a snake. <laughs> but uh, I don't know who put this here, if it was an accident, if it's another herper, if it is another herper, thank you very much. I flipped this beauty. It's an adult Easter milk snake. Pretty sure it's a female, but this snake's in shed and still look how gorgeous it is. Oh my, that is so cool. That really did a boost for my attitude because it's been hard hiking out here today and flipping this snake made the whole day worth it. That is incredible. guys are such beautiful snakes too cool I hope we find some other stuff but like I said even if we don't this was just fine so assuming I don't find anything on the way back to the car I think we're gonna wrap up the video here I wanted to get out and find something special today to wrap up the footage that we had found last week and the week before and I think we did that with that milk snake. The garter was a nice addition too. But um, yeah, I might hit a few other spots today, but anything I find there, I will more than likely put in a new video. That's if I find anything. Because hiking up this stuff today really wore me out. So we'll see what happens. But as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, the support really means that so much. And uh you know, we're in October now. Snakes are going to become less and less common. They'll still be out, but we'll probably start transitioning more into looking for amphibians as well, like some really cool salamanders and stuff like that. But like I said, we still should turn up some snakes. But yeah, so until next time, I'll see you guys later. And again, thanks for watching. Take care.